What's happening good people, welcome to the channel, I'm Wes aka Mr Budget Watch and today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at a new watch from Bleager. They were kind enough to provide this to review, doesn't have to go back to them but you know by now that's not going to change my opinion. Full disclosure, I have actually opened this, uh, I, uh, I did order some other things uh, which I weren't actually planning on you know, doing videos on. So, I did open it, but once I found out what it actually was, I just didn't look at it and, you know, put it straight back in. Uh, so, yeah, this is sort of a first impressions, but I'm just going to put, you know, impressions. Anyways, I'll stop talking now and uh, just get it. So, it actually comes in this uh, sort of styrofoam box. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that. I do really like this, though. This is really cool. It's like a uh, watch pouch roll thing. But it's bubble wrap, really cool. Uh, and it also comes in a little bag as well. And then plastic, I'm not really sure why they've sort of put it in plastic and then wrapped it in plastic and lots of freaking plastic, even more than Pagani use. And you all know how I feel about plastic, so I'm not really going to go into it. So yeah, they've put it in that and that and then that as well i don't really think it needed this and all that when it's in this to be quite fair but you know i don't know anyway so what i'm gonna do is cut the video get all this uh unnecessary plastic off and uh, you know talk more about the watch and here is the watch finally so this one actually took four minutes to unwrap uh, there was even more plastic than on the pagani now, I will be having words with Bleager about that, just like I did with Pagani. Uh, I uh, told them that they shouldn't use more, uh, as much plastic as they do, and they're going to be getting the same message as well uh, once I, uh, you know, uh, contact them again. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this watch. That Tiffany blue dial is beautiful. So this is a uh, homage, and you can see it's high B as well. Uh, I'm not going to uh, talk about the movement obviously in an unboxing, but you know, it is a high beat, which is awesome. All the applied indices, really nice handset, and uh, plenty of residue from uh, that sticky stuff. Not as bad as Pagani's though. The uh, sticky uh, adhesive stuff doesn't seem to be as strong, uh, so it's not left as much a remark. Uh, my first sort of gripe with this watch is the polished lugs with a brushed bracelet. I wish they'd have done, um, you know, brushed lugs so it just looked a little bit more cohesive. But yeah, I don't mind, you know, the polishing because I think, you know, it suits it. I mean, you know, you guys know by now that I'm not a huge fan of um, high polish. And uh, it also has a uh, male end link as well. But if you look, it's actually quite a short one. Usually the male end link like, is quite long, but on this one it's uh, a little bit shorter. So we've got solid links screwed as well solid end links sterile case back in that uh, rolex style so a bit awkward to take off uh, if you need to clasp is rolex style unbranded this kind of reminds me of the one on the uh, chronos not as well finished but um still pretty impressive but what is very very impressive and what i actually love it's got glide lock. I cannot believe a watch with this movement at this price has a glide lock bracelet. Why Pagani can't do the same? I have not a clue. But Bleager have managed to make this with a really, really good movement in it. And still make a profit at the price point that this watch is. It's just, it's pretty staggering. It's not perfect though, uh, like I'm noticing, uh, just on first impressions, like I said, with a brushing and thingy next to each other, it just, it don't look right. Love that blue dial though, that's absolutely stunning. But yeah, first impressions, I'm quite impressed, it's got a good amount of weight to it. That bracelet has got such a nice taper as well. Really, really nice, obviously I'll go over the dimensions uh, and everything in the review. But yeah, really beautiful taper. And glide lock, thank you, Bliga so so helpful to get a perfect fit obviously because there's no micro adjust having glide lock is just so nice to have especially when you've got an awkward size wrist you can just get a near enough bang on fit with a glide lock bracelet so yeah definitely uh, some really good strong points few little uh, minor complaints and of course 
all the plastic, but I will be having words about that, and I'm going to see if I can get them to um, reduce the amount of plastic that they're using, and maybe just stick to just the bubble wrap, because I don't think it needs bubble wrap in a plastic bag with all the sticky stuff on it, because it's just a bit of a waste. So anyway, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know how that goes uh, in the comments, because obviously I'm not going to be posting this sh uh, straight away. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this one, guys. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for the review of this one. I'm liking it so far, but yeah, like I said, it's got a few little things I'm not so keen on. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And of course, follow me on social media at Mr. Budget Watch. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.